If you find it difficult to make progress with your English fluency, this might be one of the most important videos you need to watch. Learning and speaking English isn't difficult. What makes it difficult for you is the very thing that you think it's difficult. Why do some people go to the gym three, five times a week and find working out easy while there are other people who don't find working out easy? And how come you see so many people make progress with their English and walk into any conversation with confidence, yet you're struggling with lack of vocabulary or even with your fear of speaking in front of others? Do these people have a special ability? Nope. The only special ability they have is that they believe that they can do it. Hey English learner, welcome to this channel. My name is Chubby, I'm an English fluency and learning coach, and this channel is for English learners who want to learn how to make more vocabulary memorable and speak fluently, comfortably and confidently in any conversation. So hit that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber yet to get the best out of all the amazing and incredible tips that I share here to transform the way you think about your English. Einstein said something really interesting. He says, Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by the ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Yet, you're exposed to English content all over social media and the internet, mostly from people who have little to no idea what it feels like to learn English as an international speaker, that tell you that English is hard, that there are certain words that have a difficult pronunciation, or that if you don't speak like a native speaker, you are a nobody and you're stupid. How do you think you're going to make decisions about working on your English, practicing your fluency, listening to or reading English, when 95% of the content that you watch on social media is telling you how English is hard and your English is not good enough. These videos and language content are basically part of a marketing scheme. They prey on your insecurities by telling you how your English is bad. I mean, how could it be better if you're just learning this language? So they create videos that make English seem even more complex and complicated than it actually is, so that eventually you buy their courses, you buy their products, and keep watching their videos without making much progress. When you start removing these beliefs from your brain, like English is difficult, I can never become a fluent speaker of English, or speaking English is hard, you will see how much more progress you make by just accepting that learning English takes time and effort, and by exposing yourself to whatever you're listening to, whatever you're reading, and interacting in English, communicating so you can build your skills, you will eventually become a fluent speaker. Eliminate any content, teachers, blogs, or anything else that tells you how your English is not good enough, or that you should feel ashamed for making mistakes about a language that you're just learning, when the focus should always be on communication, where not every mistake matters as much. And you will see that the more you expose yourself to English by listening to or reading something in English and engage in interactions, the better your fluency will be. Here's another thing. Back in school, and I'm sure you could relate to this as well, when you were studying English, not learning it. If you don't know what the difference is between studying English as a subject and learning English for fluency, then you can check out this video where I explain clearly what the difference is between studying a language and learning it. Research shows that you need to see or listen to the same grammatical structure or vocabulary item expression multiple times, sometimes 20, 30, 50 times. Um, things like, you know, present perfect or how to use should in a sentence or the first conditional in order for you to use it with confidence. Just like in your first language, I mean, would you expect a five-year-old kid using their first language to use a first conditional right after listening to a first conditional sentence the first time ever? Then why would... So what happens in school, at least this is what happened to me, let me know in the comments if you experience the same, you can relate, is that you listen to your teacher explaining to you the different grammar rules and then you might do some practice in your workbook and in best case scenario you would do some speaking practice, worst case scenario there is no speaking practice and then the next day or next week you get a test. This is not how the brain works. If you're interested in more information on how your brain works and how learning eventually works, check out this video where I'm expanding on what it means 
to learn and how school doesn't give us the experience of learning. A test can motivate you to learn, but eventually whether the results you get through the test are good or bad doesn't really define your fluency. The learning process you're going through while preparing for the test is what really matters. I mean, we are not in school anymore. We are living our lives as adults. So it's important for us to do that process well enough for us to get benefits from it, meaning learning from reading and listening to something. It's something I'm going to talk about in a second. Just look at it from a different perspective. Would you expect yourself to drive a car confidently just after watching a video or someone else driving? Probably not. So why would you expect yourself to do the same thing when you just saw a grammar structure once or twice in your life? Successful language learning takes time and effort and your progress will always depend on the amount of time you spend and the amount of effort you make in using the language, whether it's through listening to, reading, writing or speaking it. Using English expressions with confidence when you speak, when you write, requires you to be exposed to the language through listening and reading so that you can see the same patterns all over again, the same grammar structures, the same expressions, collocations, so your brain will naturally get used to this. You just need to trust the process, keep reading and listening to something in English. If you'd like to know more about how exactly you could do this so that you get faster results with your fluency, you can check out this and also this video where I'm explaining the process of learning from context, one of the most powerful things you could do if you'd like to become a fluent, confident global language speaker. Would you like to keep believing that English is difficult, keep watching all these teachers and content telling you how your English is not good enough, how you have to speak like a native speaker and placing a huge burden on your learning, staying forever stuck? hoping, wishing and thinking that one day English will just magically become easier for you? Or will you choose to change the way you think about English? Just like everybody else, including people in my fluency program, the Proficiency Fortress, who have become fluent, confident global English speakers and start believing that it's not you whose English is not good enough, you're just learning. It's not English that is difficult, it's just time, effort and most importantly, patience with yourself that you need to make faster progress with your English fluency. If you choose to change the way you think about English and start believing that you can become a fluent speaker as well, make sure you download my free ebook to get clear on some of the biggest mistakes that I see struggling English students make that hold them back from making real progress with their fluency. And this is also where you will get some practical guidance on how you could change some of your learning habits to finally become the fluent global English speaker who you want to become, who walks into any conversation and talks about almost any topic with confidence. If you need some guidance or help because you feel like whatever you think keeps you forever stuck, feel free to leave a comment here. You could also drop an email or get in touch on my other social channels as well and I'll be making sure I respond to your message at all times. And of course, if there's anything else you'd like to know about English, about learning for fluency, anything concerning listening, speaking or vocabulary, this is the channel that will help you become that fluent, confident speaker you've always wanted to become. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you dedicating time to watching this through and I really hope that you will walk away with at least one thing that you will implement and start changing the way you think about English so you can change your life as well. If you're not a subscriber yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video if this was some sort of value to your life and to your fluency as well, and hope to see you in a future video and help you change the way you think about fluency to change your life.